Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to start building a forge. And we are going to build a ceramic fiber blanket with a refractory layer over top. And we're going to be using a steel box frame. Now I went ahead and put the steel box together beforehand. Um, it's a pretty simple design. Four pieces of steel held together with some rod. Uh, when we do our soft fire brick build, I'll show you how to put one of these together. I then went ahead and taped up the back side, and you'll see why later on. It's so that when, when we start pouring in that refractory, it has a stopper. All right. So the first thing we got to do, I went ahead and rigidized all of these so I can handle them now. And I'm going to get them in place. Okay. So what I have here are four sheets that are, I believe they're nine by 10, to be my top and bottom. And then I have the 10 by five to be my side walls. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this a side mount furnace so that our burner is gonna come in and it'll set like this. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and fit these into place. Now with these side ones where my burner is going to be, I'm going to go ahead and put the first one in. I'm going to take a sharp knife and <laughs> these are soaked through really well with rigidizer. So I have no issues doing this. I know I'm going to be safe and take and cut out. This piece of ceramic fiber blanket. And you'll notice that it all kind of congeals together. That's a good thing. That means our rigidizer is doing its job. And now the second piece. Now, the reason we are doing two inches of ceramic fiber blanket is to make this forge much more efficient. Ceramic blanket, uh, this particular blanket is rated up to 2,800 degrees. Is a great refractory. And it keeps your forge running really well. So having two inches of it in there will help to make the forge extremely efficient. The only problem is, if you don't rigidize it, it's also extremely dangerous. sure that our burner can fit all the way through. Well, that's there in place. Put in the next wall. And set it on its end. And put the final two pieces in place. And if you don't get a perfect seal, it's not a big deal because we are going to be putting refractory in here. But the less gaps you have, the more efficient this forge is going to be.
guys. Now once all of your blanket is in there, try and push back anything that you have sticking out the front. All right, we'll be back in a little bit, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some refractory to put over top of this. Hey guys, welcome back. All right, we're gonna go ahead and mix up our refractory and put it in. Now, I've never used this refractory before. It's from my local farrier supply store. It's a 3100 degree rated high alumina. They said a lot of good things about it, so we're gonna try it out, all right? Now, you don't need a whole lot of refractory probably about two to three pounds. And when you mix this up, you want to mix it to a consistency of about whipped cream, maybe a little thicker. And it doesn't take much water to get there. Just be careful guys, don't add too much water to begin with. Now you'll see that I've still got quite a bit of dry material in there. And I'm a little bit thick there, but I'm okay with it because we're going to be painting this on. Okay, so we'll set the forge down and get the first side going. And you want to shoot for about a sixteenth inch to eighth inch thickness with this stuff. Just put it on in and trowel it on. Be sure you push it over the back edge so that it'll fall into those crevices back there. Be sure you get it on the sides and that you seal up any gap that you might see. Get a push down into it and fill the gaps. And that's all you got to do on all the sides, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done. And we will come back for our next video when it's done to all the sides. All right, guys. So I went ahead and I troweled in the refractory for all the sides and I went ahead and took the tape off and cleaned up the other end. As you can see here, we had a good solid coating all the way through and I went ahead and I, I made the floor about a half inch thick of refractory because it's going to end up being my workspace. I'm not going to bother with putting a brick or anything down. So I'm going to let this set and cure and we will come back and finish this project off in about a week. Take care, guys. I'll see you then.